Are you a Mac user with a ton of digital photos that potentially have a lot of duplicates? You need to watch this video and learn about the one program I rely on to help me clean up a digital photo mess of duplicates. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt, co-founder of Pixology, and I help teach people how to use their computers to manage their pictures better. So today's topic is on using my favorite program on a Mac to clean up digital photo duplicates. It's called Photo Sweeper. And I kind of realized this weekend that I needed to use it for a personal project because as often happens, about five years ago, I had a friend who was celebrating her 30th wedding anniversary, and we helped her scan a whole bunch of pictures over the course of a few months. And we started helping uh, put together a photo book for her anniversary, which we thought we had plenty of time for, and life and health kind of got in the way. We uh, let five years go in between that project and picking it up again. And I know we're not the only ones who do that. You probably have a picture project you started years ago and need to get back to. As I was looking over the folders of photos that we had scanned, uh, they had been saved in a few places because after five years, computers change and where things are saved and how they're saved uh, got a little messy. So I used Photo Sweeper to help clean up the duplicates because we had duplicate folders. And I'm gonna use that as an example uh, in this tutorial. So uh, let's get started. Right now you can see I'm in the Welcome to Photo Sleeper and I'm going to click uh, Scan Another Folder. I just have a folder of pictures and we'll click that. And I'm gonna go find that folder. Here we are. Okay, I'm going to click scan. So it loads all of the pictures into the program. And I can see up at the top right, whoops, the top left, there's 406 pictures. And we're going to get ready to compare them. So I'm going to click on compare. And you can see I get multiple choices here. I can search for duplicate files, similar photos, or a series of shots. Well, I'm going to just search for similar photos and we'll look at photos of any size. File name can be any, time gap can be any, and the matching level, this is what I really like. You can go down from exact just in case your pictures might look a little different from scan quality or whatever. So here we go, we'll click start. Now, 406 pictures, it'll go pretty fast. Sometimes we've had to photo sweep 25,000 photos and that can take a while. So let's see what we're gonna find here. And look at that, we do have some uh, photos that are duplicates. So I just want to show you, I've got 122 photos in 59 groups. I'll click auto mark, but I could adjust the preferences. We have the file size selected that when it looks at the two pictures, it will save the picture of the larger size. So the auto marking will select which picture will be deleted. And that's why we want to delete the files with smaller size. Often you'll have a picture with a thumbnail and you want to have the larger size picture. The folder priority can help. You can add a folder and you can determine which one's more important. So I've been through this dating folder and I'm going to select that because I know I want everything in there to be saved. And that's something that you can play around with. For a long time, I didn't use folder priority, but it can be useful. So I'm gonna close that, and I'm gonna click Auto Mark. So here we are. You can see all the ones that are having the brown um, bottom, there's a delete button, and that's 
means it's been selected for deletion. So I can see when I compare these two, they are the same picture, and that's fine. I'll just keep scrolling down. The other thing that's helpful is when you pick the picture, you can see on the bottom line here the file path of where it is. So this one is actually in that images folder, and this one is in Family Matters. So we had we had categorized the pictures for uh, for this person. So I'm scrolling down and I'm seeing here's another one that's a duplicate. It was in Images and this one's in Furry Friends. Here we have an interesting situation. It is the same picture and I can tell that it was something that we scanned because this one says 110A to 103A. Often when we scan printed pictures, we do run a duplicate finder because this very situation can happen as you're scanning. You realize um, after the fact that you didn't get, all, get rid of all the print duplicates you might have. So this one's just a tiny bit bigger and you can see the one that's a tiny bit smaller was selected for deletion. So I'm going to trash them and click trash and 63 pictures were removed. So there's one other thing that we're going to do. We just eliminated 63 pictures, but I always like to double check. Those small thumbnails often will get you. So let's take that matching level down a notch or two and click start. So you can see that we have another couple of pictures that were identified here as being duplicates. So I'm going to auto mark. And again, you can see the photo on the left here is going to be deleted. It's 656 kilobytes. And the photo on the right is 4.7 megabytes, definitely larger. And here is the same photo. Looks like it also was scanned at two different times, uh, perhaps, and they're duplicates. So we're going to keep the larger size one. Trash marked. And now I think I'm happy with the work. It's fun to just keep, you know, going back further and seeing if we find any more duplicate. So now I see that we have two more photos. Well, if I'm going to keep having to do this, I'm going to go back and go to that compare again, and we're going to take it way down. This is where you start seeing some pictures being compared that might actually look alike. So we're, I can see in the top row, these two are definitely duplicates, that's fine. But here, these are two similar photos and the, the poses of the children are definitely different. So I'm not going to auto mark on this batch. I'm going to just manually double click it. And those we're going to keep. Here we are, 19 and 18. These look like very similar photos. In fact, I'd have to say they are the same photo. So I'm going to keep the larger one. Those are both keepers, they're different. This group five here is definitely uh, a different photo. You can see the, the person that's walking into the screen here. These two could be, oh, they're different. And this one, 2.1, this one definitely looks like it is the same photo and they're having fun. So we're going to keep the larger one. All right, we'll trash those. And you can see that all those other ones that we did not want to mark are, are safe. So I feel like I've done a good job of weeding out the duplicates in this batch of 400 photos. When we go back to the list, now we have 338 that we're left with. So now I can go back to her project and, and continue working on her photo book knowing that I won't be having to worry about the duplicates. That's Photo Sweeper. It's just $10, I believe, in the App Store. So you can uh, go to your 
App Store and we'll just search for it here. And of course, mine says open. I'm pretty certain that this was $9.99. So even if it's $20 now, it's so worth it if you have uh, thousands of pictures that you're trying to figure out which ones are duplicates. So that wraps up using Photo Sweeper. I love it and you can really dive deep. Uh, maybe in another video I'll photo sweep my photos. Uh, I have over 20,000 so there's a good chance there's probably some duplicates of something in there because of text messaging or posting things on Facebook and saving them back to my phone whatnot. Anyway, if you liked this video, please hit subscribe so that you're alerted to when we have new videos uploaded. And check out the resources at the end of this, and we'll see you next time.